Hi, my name is Ben Tom Eriksen. I'm I want to show you how to make this airfoil in Lightwave. First thing we have to do is to find an airfoils. I take this for example. And you can open this image in one second and uh, look at it, save it uh, as a picture. I already done that. But what we need to remember is the size of this picture is 651 times 235. I go back to Lightwave and make a new window. The first thing I like to do is to make a box. And this is where I'm going to uh, yeah, set the picture. Uh, I use the numeric panels to set the right size. And the right size is uh, 65.1 millimeter, for example. And the height is then 23.5. And for now the depth is zero. I like to center this also. You can put another thing, but remember uh, that the width and height is dependent on each other. Now, and make. What happened now is that I see this from the wrong side, so I press F to flip the polygons around. Now I have to make a, a surface, I press Q and call it um, MAL, a Norwegian word probably. I go to surface editor, click on texture, projection planer and I load the airfoil. I already did done that so I just can't put it here. I have to click automatic sizing and in this time I project it on the axis C. Uh, if you don't see the airfoil now you probably have to check what you have here. In this case I want texture in both perspective view and for a back projection. The next time thing I'm going to do is press shift and click another layer. And now I go for the uh, spline draw tool and start tracing this And now I have to close this form. I click numeric and close curve. You can massage the points so you get it more precisely than I did here, if you want. And here I have my uh, shape. The problem now is you can't see this. And if I go to points mode, select all the points and create a polygon. Create, make polygon. I switch to polygon mode again. And here is the shape. I like to copy it into another layer. So. 
What I have to do now is select this polygon, copy it, flip it with F, and multiply, uh, smooth shift, and drag it out. Now, if I change this to texture wire, you can see this area is empty. And that's the reason for why I uh, choose copy in the first time. Then I can copy it again. I press Q to make a new uh, surface, wing, for example. And here is the wing. As you see, it's very polygon shaped now but if I now press tab on the keyboard it's look more like a wing. If you want a hard edge on both sides you can select this area cut it out and paste it back and you see now the wing is there. If you want this wing to be a smooth edge it you can press uh, I use the short key all the time so I don't know where it is multiply knife I can cut it several times and now I have to press M to merge points and there is my smooth wing. If I go to point mode, I can drag this out as long as I want. You can play with these points and see how soft you want this edge. If I have more of this, I can start shaping my, if this is a wing for a windmill for example, I can use modify uh, twist, if you want different size on your wing. drag it out so you can see a little bit more. If you use tapper, hold down command key, you can change the wing in more direction. I go to zero and remember to look at the screen here so you scale it the same way. So if I use 60-60% then it's going to continuous be the right shape only, only small and now I can twist it again 45 degrees for example this normal windmill and here you have a windmill or an aeroplane wing depends on how you want it. Thank you. Yes, one more thing. Uh, if you want to uh, export this airplane wing or wind wheel wing to an CNC or other uh, 3D application program, you can go to construct and use freeze. What's happened then is you made this of tiny small uh, polygons instead of the polygons we made earlier. Now uh, you probably have to go to multiply and triple if your uh, CAD software only can use three-pointed polygons and then you export it.